Good morning. Good morning, our Facebook friends, fellow believers, the unsaved. We're just delighted to be coming into your homes or cars or wherever you are to share the word of God. It's such an exciting time to be alive. Of all the times in history, think about it. We get to be a part of the end time harvest. And that's exciting because the world has never seen the times that we're in now and that we're about to go into. But in the book of Acts, it says that God decides when we will be born and where we will be born. So we're here by divine appointment, by divine destiny, right in the timing of God. Isn't that reassuring? God doesn't make mistakes. And I believe that he saves the best for last, and that's why we're here. So we appreciate the Lord the Lord Jesus Christ, the God of heaven and earth. And his plan and his purposes for the body of Christ and for the world. This virus, of course, has not taken him by surprise because Jesus said that there would be pandemics. But he has a plan. He always has a plan and then he always has a backup plan to his plan. So we're in exciting times. I want to open in prayer. Father, here we are, your body of Christ. And we thank you, Lord, that you have purposed us for this season, this time in life, for a very special purpose. And it's the end time harvest. And we ask that each one of us, you get us ready in our hearts. And you give us mouths with such wisdom and utterance that all our foes combined are unable to stand against us or refute us. Now, Lord, we want that harvest. We're praying about the harvest. We're going after the harvest. And Father, we ask that you open up the portals of heaven and pour out such glory now to make it up to the earth. You said, oh God, that you had a recompense. You always have a recompense for anything we go through that's difficult, that's tough, that's dismaying, that's hurtful. So as a body of Christ, and body of Christ, I want you to get involved in this. Lord, we demand a recompense before your face. And some of that recompense that we demand is the harvest of souls. That people's hearts will be so touched by what's happened in the earth that they will finally turn to you. We want every soul, Lord, that's designated, that Every person who should be in your kingdom, we want them, Lord. We ask that even now you prepare their hearts. And we thank you, God. We proclaim we'll always be at the right place at the right time to talk to the right person. Now, Lord, we ask you promised that you were going to give new mantles to your people. Lord, we simply must have a soul winner's mantle greater than what we carry now. You told Pastor Kimberly that the mantles that you would bring to your people would be so large that it would fall off the tips of their fingers down to the floor and it would pool around their feet because we had to grow into them. But they're so great and they're so grand and those are the mantles that you have for every one of your saints. Now, Lord, here we are, and we want them. We ask that you hasten to perform that word and give us those new mantles to reach the lost. 
and to reach the dying. And send us, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, to people who are in such deep despair that they long to take their own lives and plan to take their own lives. Send labors to those people. Oh God, you see who they are. Here we are, Lord, send us so that we can speak a word in season to those people who are suicidal and who don't think that they can make it. Give us a word in season to encourage, discourage people. We thank you so much for your goodness, God. We hope in your plan, we believe in your plan, and we're walking in your plan. In Jesus' name, amen. We had, I want to take a few minutes before Pastor comes with the message, but we had a tragedy happen in our lives yesterday. A family friend that I had been witnessing to since I was 19 took his own life at 10.30 yesterday morning. Dear man. And my greatest grief was that he didn't make heaven, that he was in hell. And so, now think about it. Family friend for decades. You're not sure if he made heaven. You're afraid he's in hell. That ought to speak to all of us and propel us into soul winning. And some of us say, well, God's got somebody better than me. The best person that he has is the Christian who's standing right in front of a lost person. That's the best person that he has. So I want to say to us, especially now after this tragedy, a good man, that we redouble our efforts to speak to the lost and dying. It doesn't take courage as much as it takes the fear of God. Do we understand that? Because it's a tragedy to have a person in your life and not talk to them about Jesus and have their life end tragically. Now, this man had been talked to many times, at least by me. But I want to read you some scriptures. It's time that we get the fire of the Holy Ghost to win the lost. This virus, we pray, will soon be en ended, and the opportunities will open for us. Daniel 12.3 and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Proverbs 11.30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. And that he that wins souls is wise. Luke 14.23. Then the master said to the servant, of whom we are, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. There's so many people out there that are desperate. They don't understand that there is always a hope in God. There's always a way out of everything with the Lord. And they need to be told about the Savior. 1 Corinthians 9.19, For although I am free from all men, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win the more. Now this should be our purposes in life, to win the more. Body of Christ, can we make that our goal? Soon this will be over. We'll be able to talk to people again. Because there are people that are so troubled by this virus that live in such great fear and torment. And they don't need to because there's a hope and there's a way always. 
So can we redouble our efforts to talk to people and win them to the Lord? It doesn't have to be a big deal. You just ask people if they're on their way to heaven. And you find out soon enough with that one sentence where they stand for eternity. So, Father, we ask that you give each one of us who's listening to this broadcast the fire of your spirit to win the lost and to capitalize on this terrible thing that's happened to the world and turn it around to good by winning all the more. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray this prayer. Amen.